Hey everybody, this is Helena and I'm here with my very good friend and fellow coach Matt Schaefer today. Welcome, Matt. Hey, Helena. So excited to be back. It's always so much fun partying with you. We have such a yes, good time. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And hello to everyone watching live. We're just going to uh, wait a few minutes for some people to join. Let us know where you're watching from in the chat. If you have any questions for us, let you, we'll, uh, let us know as well. We'll try to get to as many as we can at the end. We have about 30 minutes today. And we have a very juicy topic for you today. We're going to be talking about five things that men secretly crave, but might not feel comfortable asking for outright, right? Both in mm -hmm. and out of the bedroom. For those of you who aren't familiar with Matt, he is an empowerment relationship and connection coach. He's very famous for teaching women how to turn a man on. But the great thing about the five secrets we're going to share today in this video is this will help you really uh, help a man crave you emotionally, right? Not just physically. And yeah. I can't wait to dive into this topic. Matt's going to do most of the talking because I'm just getting over being sick and I'm losing my voice yeah. a little bit. But I know Matt's got this. He has incredible content. You guys are going to absolutely love this. And while we're waiting for some people to join, Matt, do you want to talk about your free course that you're offering for a very limited time. The link is in the description right now for everyone watching. Yes, y'all. I have a really exciting free three week live course coming up. Mastery of connection. It's supported over 10,000 women around the world and I'm offering it one last time, uh, basically as a free beta test. So if you come and join us by filling out the application in the link, you're going to get three weeks of live coaching with me and my team really to help you transform the way you connect with yourself and with everyone in your life. So this is going to help revolutionize your relationships with men and also with your family and your your friends and it's going to help you get to the bottom of the beliefs that have been holding you back from love overcoming those helping you understand your attachment style we go deep <laughs> we go deep and you'll get office hours group coaching with me twice a week i do about 40 hours of live workshops in the third week of the course all around magnetism and uh feminine energy and how to really be activating to guys and it's really going to be a blast so if you're interested in that come along, sign up. We start eight, nine. So we start up on August 9th and we're going to be allowing people in throughout the course, but you want to get in as soon as possible so you can get the most value out of it. We'd love to have you. Yes, absolutely. I'm always very clear on this. If you're going to take one free course or program that I recommend this year or really ever take this one because it's absolutely life changing. It's, you know, really deep transformative work. It's what everyone needs in my opinion, mm -hmm. so that things just flow a little more effortlessly in your love life. And actually it will transform every area of your life, not just in dating and relationships. Exactly. So yeah. So, um, if you want to join, if you can apply to be a beta tester, totally 100% free, mm -hmm. um, close the live chat, click the title of this video. It'll open up the description is the first link in there. I'll add it to the comments as soon as we're done. So yeah, definitely go check that out. So it looks like we have a good amount of people joining. Matt, do you want to jump into Everybody. that first thing that men secretly crave? Absolutely. So just a little, you know, I love my context, right? Just a little bit of context. To <laughs> You're like, you're like, just say the first thing. And I'm like, no, I got to give context. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. I love it. <laughs> uh, so just a couple of things you need to understand before we go into these, right? Is that the masculine and the feminine, there's an interdependence between the two of them where we need things from each other. We truly desire and crave things from each other. And the masculine is craving being acknowledged for their actions by the mm. feminine. We want that reciprocation. We want that acknowledgement. We're, we're dying for it. We're starved for it a lot of times in our lives, right? And we are craving being set free by the feminine, right? So when it comes to being either in the bedroom or out of the bedroom, you can start asking yourself, how can I set a man free, set him free to be his best self, set him free to be his most authentic, truest expression of himself, right? Like there are ways to do this because we have heavy lives. We have a lot of structure. We have a lot of stuff that's weighing us down. And so when we're with a woman that we are excited about, we really are looking for freedom. And you can be the greatest key to that, that we can create. Okay. Mm, so love just, it. you so have a superpower, true. you have a superpower of that. And so the last thing, the other thing you need to understand is that physicality, physical connection is by and large for men. It is a form of emotional expression mm. in a lot of ways. Of course it's physical. Of course there's a reproductive component to it, but for, for a lot of men, it's a form of emotional communication, right? And so it needs to be honored as that, right? And so all the same things that you would be careful about doing when you're talking to somebody like not being judgy, not being super aggressive in a physical conversation, conversation. You want to make sure that you're still, you're thinking about that when it comes to sex and physical connection too, 
right? Because for it, it is deeply emotional to men, and it yeah. can be deeply wounding to a man if uh, if you don't honor his feelings as expressed through physicality. Does that make sense, Elena? Oh yeah, absolutely. I I don't think I've actually ever heard you say that before. So that is mm. great. Yeah, I love that so much. And yes, um, definitely type your questions in. We'll get to as many as we can at the end. We don't have as much time as usual today yeah. because Matt and I are doing a, a live Q and A in his group, <laughs> the Mastery of Connection people from the last round. So yeah. yeah, we'll get to as many as we can, but loving uh, connecting with all of you. Thank you so much for saying hi. And is there anything else you want to say on that? Or do you want to move into the next secret? Let's not, let's dive into it. So, okay. so with that context out of the way, yeah. one of the first thing, the first thing that men are truly deeply craving from you both in and out of the bedroom is a, is, is, is empowered surrender. So mm -hmm. men are craving being able to give to you and having you being able to open and to be willing to receive it. So I want you to think to yourself, ask yourself, right? How often have you resisted receiving something that a man has tried to give you, right? Because you thought it was a manipulation, because you've made up a story that maybe receiving from a man is a form of weakness, right? Mm. So you've got walls up, you've been in your masculine energy, right? Just know that being closed off, being unable to receive, that can be devastating to, to a man, right? So one of the ways you can empower him in the bedroom and out of the bedroom is to <laughs> allow him to be the physical driver of the relationship. And mm. again, empowered surrender does not mean being a pillow princess. <laughs> it does not mean just laying there passively and letting a man just do whatever he's going to do. It's you actively surrendering to him and saying, I trust you. I trust you. I trust that you are going to touch me in a way that is going to make me happy, that you're going to kiss me in a way that makes me happy, that we're going to, we're going to be able to dance together. And I honor your desire to be the physical driver of the relationship. We need, we need it. <laughs> we truly, truly oh, need it. Love that. Does that that is, sense? I love that so much. Uh, how easy or difficult is it for you guys to receive from a man? I know that can be difficult at first. We, uh, you know, especially mm -hmm. if you have strong feelings for a man, maybe it's me earlier on in the relationship and you feel this need to, to do things and show him that you're having a good time and it can be easy to get up in our heads. So I really like that. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but I, from when you're talking, it's like, I just imagine dropping out of your head into your body and really being able to receive what a man wants to give you both in and out of the bedroom. I think that's phenomenal. I'm loving yeah. this, Matt. Yeah. A hundred percent. So yeah, mm -hmm. obviously in the bedroom, you know, physically like allowing him to honor your body and, 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 and trusting him to do that. But then outside, right. When y'all are just in your life and in your relationship, can you just surrender and allow him to lead? right? Mm. Allow him to plan dates, allow him to sort of like be that masculine physical driver, right? You'll have your own opportunities to take the lead in other things, but mm -hmm. just let him, let him be the man in that case. And if you're not able to do that, look at why are you afraid of that? Why do you have so much resistance around allowing a man to lead, right? A lot of times it's because a man has hurt you and I get it, but that's mm -hmm. where we get to do healing. We cannot take that out on our current partner. You know? So true. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> everyone is definitely resonating with this. I'm just checking in with the chat. Mm -hmm. I want to put all, everyone on the screen and say hi, but I know we're a little short on time today. So let's get into that next okay. secret if you're ready to move to numero, the next one. numero dos, numero mm -hmm. dos. Uh, specific instructions. Men are craving, believe it or not, specific instructions on how to make you happy. Mm. Specific instructions on how to make you happy. So I want you to let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments if you're watching this later. What do you think that that looks like? What does specific instructions to make you happy look like? Because I think a lot of women get scared to do this because they think that if they tell a man what they like, that they're going to be perceived as what? Masculine right? Yeah, They're going to be perceived as being pushy, being demanding, you know? And so what is this, what does this look like? Right? Like it looks like setting boundaries. Boundaries are a deep act of self-love, not just for yourself, but for the self that you're in relationship with. Men appreciate knowing what to do <laughs> to make you happy. And we are not mind readers. We're mm -hmm. just not, we're just not. Don't be scared to tell a man, especially in bed. Do not be scared to tell a man what you like what mm. you want. And I'm talking specific, a little to the left, up, faster, slower. Work I mean any man who is comfortable in his own masculinity and doesn't have his like ego, his wounded ego like deep deeply attached to, to your physical relationship, he's going to want to know exactly what you want. Right? And if you have a man who gets really like uncomfortable and tight when you try to tell him what it is that you like very specifically, it's a great opportunity for you to ask him, "Hey, so, you know, I felt you close off when I, when I was talking to you about what I really liked, you know, uh, what came up for you? 
in mm -hmm. that moment. And mm -hmm. It could be an opportunity for him to sort of work through, you know, well, I think I figured that I should just be able to do it myself, you know, and that I shouldn't need your help. And it makes me feel inadequate. And then you can help him work through that, right? Because that's honestly, that's insecurity. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. So, so don't be afraid to give a man, you know, specific instructions. And another way to do that is to uh, validate and acknowledge him if he does something right. Oh my God, it feels so good when you touch me there. Please do that more. Can you, you know, move your hand over here or non-verbally, even just taking his hands, taking his mouth and guiding him to places that you want to be touched or demonstrating to him how you want to feel. These are the sort of things that are going to make your sex life and make your physical connection with a guy so much more electric. And you're going to get what you want. And he's going to feel more confident and more empowered because now he knows that he's giving you exactly what you want, which is a relief to yes. us. And sometimes we don't know because sometimes women will pretend. And you're not doing anyone any favors, lady, by, by pretending that it feels good. So <laughs> true. Real with you, oh, you know? my gosh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm just kind of like looking through the chat as we're doing this. Yes, this is so, so great. Loving these questions. We'll get to as many as we can at the mm -hmm. end. But everyone is definitely resonating with this, Matt. So I just wanted to say hi to everybody for the over 100 people watching live already. Don't forget to like the video. Show us some love. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for participating. We just love you guys so much. So, yeah, that was phenomenal. Matt, what's the next one? Yes. And, and just to, just to finish up on the outside of the bedroom piece of what that looks like, what are specific instructions on to make you happy outside of the bedroom look like? It looks like positive, constructive boundaries, mm -hmm. letting him know, Hey, I would love it. If you would text me more often, you know, I would love getting a text from you every day. It would, I feel really safe when you hold the door for me. You know, it's, it's grounding in positive feeling statements that you like a man to treat you this way. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. We had a comment, um, from, Crystal Marie, what I tried today was it feels amazing to hear your voice. Will you make it a point to call me a few times a week? Is that something that sounds about right? Yeah. That is love delicious. It. That's awesome. That's a great example, Crystal. Great job. Okay. And so remember, men, we want to make you happy. The more specific guidance we have, and we thrive within structure. Give us a structure, give us a framework, give mm -hmm. us a map. Mm -hmm. we'll appreciate it. <laughs> Love that. Oh gosh, it's so true. Just in any aspect of the relationship. So, so true. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's move on to this next secret. This is all um, so great. Number, God, I'm loving this. Yeah. Super mm -hmm. fun. And now number three is one thing that men deeply crave and we'll not, we're not, we're never going to tell you this, right? But one thing we deeply crave in the bedroom and outside of the bedroom is to really feel your desire and enthusiasm for us. Mm. We need to feel your energy. Men are much more empathic and intuitive than a lot of women give us credit for. We are much more sensing and connected to your energy than a lot of women think, I think. And we deeply desire just to really feel energetically that you're happy to be here, that you're happy to be in bed with us, that you're, that you're really excited about the thing. Because it's not just mechanical for us. Remember, it's emotional. It's emotional to be in physical union with a partner. So we would much rather have a woman, and this is just a, being super real. We would much rather have a, a physical liaison. We're try, trying not to get demonetized. We're trying to keep this as proper <laughs> as possible, right? We would much rather have a beautiful physical connection with a woman who maybe isn't as skilled, you know, like maybe she doesn't have as much experience, mm -hmm. but she's mm -hmm. really excited you know, she may not be the greatest kisser or the greatest at different like sexual things, but she's super excited and passionate and open and willing to learn. That's way hotter than a woman who may be super good technically at all the things, but is just doing it in sort of a mechanical process or she's doing it because she feels like she has to do it mm -hmm. or it's just like foreplay for the sake of getting to sex or whatever, you know, like we, that sort of energetic d dissonance, right? It just deflates us. It makes us feel like it's a mechanical act, which is hurtful for us at the emotional level. Yeah, I was going to say, a lot of these go both ways. I mean, just like you would want a man who's excited to be there yeah. and wants to please you, right? Rather than someone just kind of doing things as a means to an end. So I know we talked about that in our last video on kissing. So yeah. um, definitely check that one out too, if you guys want more specific things on you know, the physicality here. But um, th mm -hmm. these are great because I can really see how this would really make a man crave you emotionally, not just physically. Mm -hmm. So. I'm it's very empowering. This it's very yeah. empowering and activating when a woman is extremely, when a woman energetically, when a woman feels very excited to mm -hmm. be with us, mm -hmm. you know, like that's something that like lights us up and it's empowering. And it, it's a really, it's an energetic invitation for us to step more into our power. Cause we're like, oh wow, she really likes that. Let me, let me give her more of this. I, I want more. I'm, I'm drawn in. I'm activated by this. 
So it's really going to help him, you know, want to see you more. Right. And, and just, just recognize that and think about that. Cause then outside of the bedroom, what does that look like? Smiling, eye contact, leaning in, demonstrating to him verbally and non-verbally that you're excited that you're excited to spend time with him, that you have fun laughing authentically at things that he says that are funny, asking him follow-up questions, be curious about who he is and what he's about in the world, right? All these things are like going to make a, make a guy think, oh my God, she actually cares. She's genuinely mm-hmm. interested and she enjoys being around me. That makes me feel better about myself. Therefore, I'm going to want to spend more time with her. Yeah. Love it. So good. We do want to mention that this isn't about, you know, if a guy is sort of half-hearted maybe a little hot and cold or breadcrumbing or inconsistent you don't want to like we i i know i think it goes without saying but i just want to kind of mention it every time because i know the kind of comments we're going to get this isn't about coddling a man's ego or trying to Mm -hmm. make a guy step up who's not already showing you that he wants to be that empowered masculine man for you right so this is for you know a great guy whose energy is coming towards you right and if you're having trouble meeting men like that definitely go join matt's course really no matter where you are in your love life first link in the description totally free this may be the last time you're offering it for free so definitely go sign up for that if you guys are interested in going deeper into you know how to connect with a man emotionally and physically right absolutely connect deeper with yourself and with men uh, emotionally physically and on all levels it's a two thousand dollar course i'm offering it for free for y'all and uh, i'd love to have you all i want is testimonials testimonials Mm. and feedback that's that's what uh, i'm i'm I'm, i really appreciate yeah love hearing the testimony we've had thousands of women from my community go through the course several have gotten married many are in phenomenal relationships with great guys so just definitely there's nothing to lose no strings attached it's totally Mm -hmm. free definitely sign up. You'll get personal coaching from Matt and his team probably right during your online office hours. It's just the most high value thing. I can't believe you're offering it for free. So I always, always love um, sharing this with my community. So yeah, let's jump into that next secret, Matt. Number four. Number four is what one of the things men are really craving for you that they're really never going to tell you in the bedroom is that they want to play. They just want to play with you. It doesn't, I understand that, you know, that sex and physical intimacy, that there is something that's profound and sacred to it. And I get that, but also recognize that what men are craving deeply is also that there's, that it's playful, right? That it can be, it can be, it can be either, it can be both. It can be sacred and it can be beautiful and it can also just be playful, right? So are you taking it too seriously? Are you taking sex too seriously every single time? You know, I mean, I in past relationships that, you know, guys that I've talked about, guys that I'm friends with have had, you know, like it, sometimes like it's sex doesn't, it just becomes even less fun, right? Because it's it always is such a production, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's important to look at, you know, are you able to be playful with sex light and just make it like a, like, like a, like a less of a heavy thing? Because we deal with a lot of heaviness in our lives. Mm-hmm. So can you be just teasing and uh, just be be lighter with it? It's just yeah. an important thing to, to look at, you know? I can see how that would really like make, uh, really motivate a man to want to spend more time with you, even in other aspects of your relationship, just that fun, playful, lighthearted energy. Not to say you can never have the heavy conversations with the guy. I mean, that's very important too. But but if, you know, the undercurrent of all your interactions is you trying to get to the next step or trying to get to the finish line or mm-hmm. trying to figure him out, right? This is like the opposite of that. Very kind of feminine, radiant place to come from. I can see that pulling a man towards you and just really making him crave being around around you. So that's exactly. great. Yeah. yeah and, and remember at, at a deep level, both you and your partner, you have an inner child, right? You have a little girl and a little boy that a lot of times are just desperately longing to be heard, heard and seen and to connect and interact and engage with each other. Right. So one of the ways you can deepen your relationship is to allow your little girl to play with his little boy, you know, and that, that applies to all aspects of your relationship. So can you be that spontaneous interruption to his, the heaviness of his life and just invite him to go out on adventures with you and invite him to try something new in the bedroom. Just invite him to just, cause men, we are, we are routine habit driven creatures, right? So can you be that loving spontaneous interruption and get him to play outside of his normal comfort zone and have a cool new experience? Because we just want to have those experiences with you. 
I love that. Great advice. Great. And again, it's not, yeah, it's not just a way to have a relationship a hundred percent of the time, right? It's just no. a tool to draw him in. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you need to have a serious conversation, of course, there's, there are definitely ways to do that. That's also very important. Just want to <laughs> cover all sides of this. So yeah. Um, yeah. what else do you have for us, Matt? This is such great advice. So and everyone's last, loving it. Yeah. And this the last one is definitely, I would say the most important, what a man is craving from you in the bedroom and outside of the bedroom, the most important thing and the biggest thing he's craving from you is safety, mm, emotional, so so emotional good. safety. So the question I want you to ask yourself is, am I showing up in, in the sheets and out of the sheets as his emotional sanctuary? Right. Am I a place where he can be open, where he can practice vulnerability in his awkward baby giraffe kind of way? Because, mm -hmm. the, you know, men don't have a lot of practice doing this stuff. And so especially in bed, you know, which is a again, a, a place of emotional expression for him. If he's in relationship with you, he's getting to know you and everything else. Right. Is it a judgment free zone? Is it a place where he can talk about what he wants? He can, you know, express maybe a kink that he's never tried before that he's curious about and, and know that he's not going to be retaliated against or judged for that. That's a yeah. huge way that you cultivate safety with a guy, you know, and, and you can lead the way in doing that by, by sharing your own stuff, by modeling, by leading by example. Hey, I've never tried this. What, can we try this tonight? This sounds really fun or exciting. What do you think about this? You know, what are some things yeah. that you like asking him these questions? So sort of like creating a safe space for him to express himself both verbally and physically to you in bed is one of the things that will just revolutionize your uh, your physical relationship and help him really feel safe enough to 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 be his full self, because a lot of men have shame. Shame mm -hmm. around what they like, shame around things that they're curious about, you know, because of how they were raised or past relationships. So it can be a it can be very healing. Yeah. To, to do this. Yeah. Similar to the others too. This is something you want to look for in a partner as well. Do you feel safe with them both when you're with them mm. physically and maybe when he's not right in front of you? Do you? So a lot of these go both ways. This is great, Matt. I am loving this information. So do you want to recap these? And if we, I know we have a few more minutes, we can, we can get some, to some questions or anything Absolutely. else you want to say about this or your course yeah. or anything. I'd love to hear it. Yeah. So just a, a brief recap, you know, remember that the masculine is depending on the feminine and is craving from the feminine to be acknowledged for what they're doing and to be set free, to be set free from the heaviness of their life. That's what we're fundamentally depending on you for. And that physicality is a form of emotional expression for, for, for men at a, at a deep level, right? So we, we want to be gentle in the way that we manage uh, physicality because it is a language and it's a form of communication. So we want to, we want to keep that in mind, right? And the five things that I talked about that I touched upon that men are craving are empowered surrender, right? We are craving a woman to trust us enough and honor us enough to really s surrender to us and, and trust that we're going to take care of her. Trust that we're going to be able to manage her feelings and her body in a, in a loving, meaningful way. So do you have the courage to put down your walls and, and step out of, you know, whatever masculine protective place you may have been in and just allow him to, to be in control, right? And, and just surrender to that. Number two was uh, a man is craving, you know, specific instructions we meant uh, to make you happy. So in bed, in the bed and out of the bedroom, right? Give him a blueprint on what it is that you like, what it is that you want in a loving, playful way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you're able to do that, it's going to give him a place, a space to operate from. He's going to feel empowered and he's going to know what to do. Right. And so if you can do that, you're really going to have just a better sex life and a better relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the third thing is to feel your desire and enthusiasm for him. Men are energetic creatures. We thrive off of the energy that we get from our partner. So uh, we, we, much, we would much prefer you to be excited and enthusiastic about what it is that you're doing in bed than to be a pro at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like yeah. we really want you to just be excited to be around us because really, <laughs> that's very empowering and activating to us. The fourth thing is to play with you. We want a woman to just be our playmate. No, there's nothing we want more, both either in bed or out of bed than to just play and have fun and feel free with you. So are you that spontaneous interruption to the routines that y'all have in bed, to the routines that y'all have in your date nights or in what you do out in the world? Like, are you able to set him free? Cause he's, cause a lot of times he's not going to do it for himself. So, but yeah. you have that superpower to do that for him. And the fifth thing is safety. And this is the most important one because without safety, a man cannot fully express a man cannot be empowered sexually or emotionally with you. Like, so are you his emotional sanctuary? Are you his physical sanctuary? You know, uh, is it a safe place? Is it a judgment free zone? Cause if it is, 
he's going to be able to really step up and step in and give you that sort of incredible physical and emotional relationship that you're so deeply worthy of, right? And, and if you are, if this is what you want, right? If this sort of relationship that you're committed to, to standing for in your life, then come join us <laughs> in Mastery of Connection. You know, I mean, I've been doing this for years. Uh, I've taken many thousands of women through this process and it has helped transform the lives of so many women to help them create better relationships from the inside out. We're gonna do the deep inner work necessary to help you become exactly the type of person that you get to be to attract that man of your dreams or to revitalize an existing relationship. This mm -hmm. is for women in all stages of relationship, whether you're single, dating, or you've been married for 30 or 40 years. I've, I've seen women just have incredible transformations at every stage in the process. And it's absolutely free. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And like I always say, if you're going to take one course, I recommend really ever just take this one. <laughs> It'll change your life. I, I mean, I see comments all the time. I hear from women all the time who are like, this was totally life changing, complete game changer in every aspect of their life. So yeah, I love being able to offer this to my community. And I think we have about five or 10 minutes left. Yeah. Do you want to just take some questions really quick? Let's do I it. I see some great ones here. First one I saw was from Alyssa Marie. What happens when a guy is really into you and meant everything he said that uh, the first meeting you go all the way, then they back off. They say they don't want to mislead you. Then mm. you don't hear from them after weeks, like two weeks, even after the connection was strong with them. Yeah, this is not <laughs> your guy. Drop him, move on. He told you yes. he's being super clear. He doesn't want to mislead you. His actions are lined up with that. He, I would move forward. I wouldn't even worry about this guy anymore. Matt, what do yeah. you think? When people show you who they are, believe them. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. this guy's been, this guy hasn't hit the ball. You know, you had a great connection. Y'all did what you did and it was fun in the moment. Right. But like at the end of the day, like that was either all he was after or that experience that you had with him caused him to, you know, see you in a certain way that like he's not interested in pursuing it. Either way, there's a man out there that's much more open and is going to be able to give you a much better relationship than yeah. that and, and be open to something more. But just in general, as a good policy, sleeping with a guy right off the bat is often usually going to potentially undermine, you know, the potential trajectory for a long term relationship mm -hmm. because it's going to mm -hmm. cause a man to categorize you as a person, as a fun potential partner rather than a partner that, you, you know, they, they have to invest in and, totally. and build a long-term relationship with. Totally agree. Even if he says he's looking for something serious, don't believe the words, like let some time go by, watch his actions for, for everybody. Yeah. That should be really helpful. If he's um, willing, for, if he wants something serious, he's probably, he's not going to try to sleep with you on the first date. It's so true. So, <laughs> oh gosh, we could do a whole nother video on that. I have so much to say on that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you guys want more videos on that topic specifically, let us know down below in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, I feel I'm totally shut off from men. How can I change that? I think the course mm -hmm. would be this really, would be a really good, helpful. Sian, definitely come join us in, MO, in Mastery Connection because it sounds like you've got some deep, uh, if you totally shut off to men, then there's a story that you've created that men are dangerous right? Or that there's just no good men out there. There are some deep beliefs, you know, usually rooted in trauma that are flowing up for you that are causing you just the end result is you're shut off, but it's, it's flowing from somewhere else, you know? So we got to get to the bottom of that and start to really heal that wound that you're mm -hmm. protecting, right? Mm -hmm. You're shut off from men because you're protecting a wound that was caused to you by men in some, pa in, in some past point in your life, right? Yeah. So let's get in there and do the deep work. Just know that no matter how shut off you may feel now, it is possible for you to open back up and it's possible for you to create a beautiful, meaningful relationship. You are not broken. Your heart mm -hmm. is not broken and everything is possible. I promise you. Yeah. Oh gosh. That is so true. Okay. Great question mm -hmm. from Kathy um, related to number two. How do I allow him to miss me besides replying to text late? I really want to say yes when he asked me out, but I don't want to appear too eager. Okay. Replying to text late. That's a strategy. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Just reply, like right? He texts you, text him back. Yeah. I, I, I no find beans. that once we start doing the, how do I allow, it sounds like make him miss me. You mm -hmm. don't want to have to mm -hmm. make a man to miss you. Whenever you start getting that strategic thing of like, oh, well, he texted me yeah. at, you know, three o'clock. I'm not going to text him back until 730. Mm -hmm. he's not gonna text <laughs> that shit it drives me crazy. Just, you know, yeah. like, like if he texts you, text him back. Maybe don't, maybe don't do it the second he texts you. Maybe wait a couple minutes, like a reasonable amount of time. But like, don't don't do that strategically right yeah. because once you start doing that then a man starts to think okay is she sort of like hiding the ball and is she being manipulative with me around this yeah uh and if a guy asks you out say and you want to go out with them say yes 
You know, because yes. here's the thing. If you get into playing games with a guy early, one of two things is going to happen. If he's not a game playing guy, he's going to feel like you're a game playing girl. Yeah. And it's going to change the way he thinks about you. Or if he is a game playing guy, he's going to start playing games with you and he's going to try to beat you at that game. Mm -hmm. Either oh, way, is that what you want? Yeah. That's not By the way, want. yeah, just a little aside for everyone. I don't know the details of your situation. If you're asking questions like this, usually it's the wrong man for you. Usually, you, you know, you're, it's like you're trying to reverse the dynamic in a way that's not going to work permanently. Yeah. Just something to take a look at. Okay. Great question from Ariana. What if he sucks at planning dates or anything <laughs> in that matter? Great question. I'd love to hear your thoughts that's, on this. Matt. That's amazing. Okay. So why does he, I, I guess the follow up question I would ask Ariana is what is it about him planning dates that sucks? Uh, cause again, I always like to ask how is, how can I take radical ownership of this? So maybe part of why he sucks at planning dates is because he doesn't really know what you want because maybe you haven't fully expressed to him what your preferences are, right? Maybe he's just shooting around in the dark, like being like, well, maybe she'll like this. Maybe she'll like that. I don't know. Because at, at some level, like there's an opportunity here for you to own your voice and for you to step in and be like, hey, I would love it if we you know, went to a ballet. I would love it if you gave me notice of the dates we were going to do you know, three to four days ahead of time so that I have time to plan mm. out the rest of my weekend. Some guys are like last minute Larry's, you know, and that's just their natural <laughs> nature is to procrastinate until the very last minute and plan a date last minute or just plan shit that they want to do because they have no idea what they, what you want to do. Okay. Yeah. So, so make sure to take ownership of the fact that you have a responsibility to, to communicate to a man in a loving, inviting way, you know, the type of dates that you want. Right. And, uh, that's going to get you much better results than just being like, yo, Bob, you suck at planning dates. Yeah. You, know, you need to get it together. Like that, that is not going to get you the answer. Uh, I love that. that you want. Love yeah. that advice. Similar question from Carissa is suggesting something you would like to do a specific instruction or to make you happy or is it a no, no. Cause it's a date idea you give him. Is there like, what's the balance with this? Should a woman just straight up say, this is what I want to do. Or is there a better way to frame it? I'd love I to think, hear I think, that. I think it's awesome. When a woman owns her voice and says, Hey, I would love it if we could do this sometime, you know, you know what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to go off roading or, you know, wouldn't it be fun if we went and hiked, you know, the Appalachian trail this summer or whatever, or just like whatever, something that you would want to do, you know, like letting a guy know that not saying, Hey, we need to do this this weekend, not making it like a masculine demand, but just throwing it out there and just being like, this is something I would love to do. That's honestly very much appreciated by men. We appreciate that. And that does not cause us to look at you like masculine. It really mm -hmm. doesn't. You know, as yeah. long as it's not every week. If, if every week <laughs> you're planning the itinerary of all the stuff that y'all are doing, then you've got a little bit of a control problem and the polarity is not going to work. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. But, but, but don't be afraid to, to give a man a specific date idea, you know, and, and then, you know, he'll be able to think of other things that are in alignment with that and that flow out of that moving yeah. forward. Love that. I have so much to say on all this, but I know we're very short on time today. Um, I hear about this all the time, Matt. I'm sure you do too. It's difficult for me after a 17 year marriage, emotionally abusive person. I'm here to learn. Mm -hmm because I messed up in a recent relationship, I would suggest joining Matt's course. Didn't we have a woman get out of an abusive situation and go on, meet her dream guy and get married last yeah. year or in the last mm -hmm. round? We've I had mean, that happen a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's totally free. I think that there's a lot of healing you need to do after coming out of an abusive marriage. I, you guys know I had to do that myself before mm -hmm. I could attract my amazing now husband. Um, so yeah, that's something that I just recommend for everybody. Even if you are not quite ready to date yet, you have some healing to do this course will help a lot absolutely um, what about this question from linda does it hurt a man's ego to be told what to do uh it depends on the energy behind it here's that that's a huge that's a really good question linda and mm -hmm. so much of what what's going to determine whether a man's ego i'm talking within reasonable situations some men have such fragile volatile egos like narcissists and guys that are deeply wounded that no matter what you say or do they're going to find a way to play the victim they're going to mm. find the way to be to feel like to make you the bad guy okay so i'm not talking about those guys right i'm talking about like reasonable men right so uh as long as you make the request and you frame it as an invitation and you and you do it with an energy of partnership like hey you know i would i would love it 
if we went out to if we went out to dinner more often or it would feel so good if you would touch me there or i would really appreciate it if you know we had the garbage out you know the night before you know so that we're not running around tomorrow the next morning trying to put the garbage out before the before the trucks come <laughs> you know like just mm -hmm. but you're coming to him as an equal you're coming to him as a partner you're not coming to him as like a pissed off like hen pecked partner like a hen pecked mm -hmm. wife or something or like his mother because yeah. here's the thing when you come to a man authoritatively and say take out the effing garbage or <laughs> you know you better get me off before you get off and you say that as a threat you do stuff like that i mean what you're doing is you're activating his mama trauma you're you're, mm. you're you're sticking him in his mother wound right because every guy has this deep wound around being hurt by hurt by his mother being having his mother being mad at him having his mother being disappointed with him and so every mm. time that you just come over the top aggressively with commands and authoritative statements and your energy is very like hostile or angry or authoritative, like because I said so, you are going to cause a man to shut down, be defensive. It's going to really stick him in his in his pain, his pain body. Yeah. Like, and he'll start treating you in a way that he probably treated his mother when he was an adolescent and <laughs> yeah. trying to individuate and grow up and be an independent yeah. man, he'll right? Yeah. He'll, he'll get defensive, yeah. he'll shut down and run away. And you'll be like, well, this guy's being a selfish prick. And it's like, no, he's being 12. Yeah. Or he's being 10 <laughs> because that's the emotional space that he's in right now. And he's yeah. not, he's not aware of why he's doing it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> totally. Totally. Um, what about this question? I thought this was interesting. Can sassiness still be feminine talking about that secret you shared, you know, the playful, lighthearted energy. I'd love to hear, I'm curious to hear what you have to say about that, Matt. I think sassiness is extremely feminine and it's extremely playful. Cause I mean, think about the way that way that kids play, right? They play by like pulling each other's pigtails and pushing each other around and being competitive and saying, well, I'm going to do this. You can't do that. You know, like, like there is a degree of like competitiveness and sass and men appreciate that men appreciate playful competition. We appreciate having a woman that can, you know, bust her balls a little bit and, and, and push back on us a little bit. That's very uh, attractive and very activating to a man, as long as it's being done with an underlying energy of lovingness, of openness, of vulnerability, as long as the energy underneath it is, Hey, I'm giving you a little shit here, but I'm, I'm really just like wanting to play with you. If you're being sarcastic, like as a deflecting, as a deflection mechanism, or as a way of just sort of like pushing a guy back or pushing a guy away, and you're calling that sassiness, that's a different thing. You know, that's mm -hmm. not going to be cultivating safety or intimacy with a guy. But just know that, yes, sassiness can totally be extremely activating to guys. We like it. Yeah, love that so much. And just keeping an eye on the tie, let's just take one more. And yes, this okay. will be the replay will be available after this post. Just come right back to the link. It'll it'll be there for you if you guys have to go. Okay, love I love this question from Bianca. It can be hard to help build, maintain our man's confidence when we're struggling with our own some days. How mm. can women feel empowered to give him recognition he seeks on days like this? I thought this was a great question, something we can all relate mm. to, right? Any yeah. thoughts there? A hundred percent. How can a woman feel empowered? How can women feel empowered to give him recognition he seeks on days like this? So it's important. This is why having a bridge of vulnerable, establishing a bridge of vulnerable communication between you and your partner is so important, right? Because there gets to be an understanding between you and your partner that you're both going to have bad days, that both, both of you are going to have bad days. And sometimes those bad days might happen on the same time at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So it's on those days, most importantly, we're coming to your partner and being like, hey, wow, you know, today was tough for me. How was your day? And then having them tell you about their day and having y'all hold space for each other. Because one of the greatest ways that we can help rebuild our, our partners and ourselves in relationship, especially when we're all beat down, is by just simply listening, by, by mm -hmm. genuinely holding space and being curious. It's not about necessarily, you know, playing a snare drum and being like a one man marching band for them. You know what I'm saying? It's about just, it's about just, you know, helping a man understand that someone cares about his feelings. Someone cares about his struggles and to give yeah. him an opportunity to show you that he cares about yours. Like I love, yeah. I love that. And that's something I do a lot in my relationship, you know, where my girlfriend and I, like we, we may struggle with things. We, we may have our struggles and, and things that are coming up for us at work or at home or wherever, you know, but, but it's always so important that we can always hold space for each other and come to each other with what we're going through. 
Yeah. You know? So important. Yeah. And yeah, mm-hmm. being open, you going first and, and opening up about your own confidence yes. struggle sometimes, like who cannot relate to that? That's what's going to build intimacy. So th- mm-hmm. this was amazing, Matt. Thank you so much. I know uh, if we didn't get to your question, we have our own Q and a that we're, that we're doing in Matt's mastery of connection group from the last round and yeah. we're running a little bit late. So um, join Matt's course. You'll have office hours with him. You can get mm-hmm. personally coached by Matt and um, it's just so such a wealth of information and not like there's just so much that goes into it it's so transformative totally 100 yeah. percent free no strings attached so mm-hmm. uh, and an amazing community we're gonna yes. have an amazing community yes. of hundreds of women from around the world and everybody supports each other people become best friends sisters they meet up i had three i, I had that. three magnets meet up in paris last week it's like it's so cool to see people from the community meet up and yeah just just know y'all that no matter what you've gone through in your life no matter what you've gone through in your relationships no matter how broken you feel no matter how frustrated you are no matter how no matter how much you may have given up on your current partner or in the prospects of dating out there in the world, you are worthy of love. You Mm. can create the love of your dreams. And it all starts with you really asking yourself, how do I feel about myself? And what do I get to do to shift that? If it's because you can only love another person to the degree that you love yourself. Yeah. You know, and that's where we start (laughs) and and we move on from there. So just know that uh, it's 100% possible for you and I'd love to help you. Yeah. Whether you're in the healing phase, whether you're starting Mm -hmm. to date again or whether you've been with a man for years or you're in that in-between phase where you're dating and you want to get that commitment, this course will help you again, totally free. So just close the live chat, click the title of this video. It'll open up the description. It's the first link in there, right? If you have any um, questions about that, let us know after this post um, in the comment section. But this was amazing, Matt. Thank you so much. And we should definitely do this again soon. If you guys have more topic suggestions for us, let us know. Don't forget to like the video and share it with anyone who could benefit from this information. We all know women who struggle in relationships. I mean, we could all use these reminders from time to time. Mm -hmm. This was great, Matt. I love this. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you again very soon. So much fun. Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.